Kim and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are doing a WW Green Plan grocery haul. So I have followed Weight Watchers as part of my journey to lose 100 pounds and keep it off for the better part of 10 years. So in today's video, I'm going to not only share what I bought at the grocery store, but also share the recipes that I plan to make this week to help me stay on track and feeling my best. So if you like this kind of video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your notifications. And let's get into this grocery haul. So this week we are really getting into fall where I live. The temperatures are dropping and I'm feeling all kinds of warm, cozy flavors. So I am going to be making a chicken broccoli rice casserole that will be perfect for my family. And then I also have plans to make a delicious kale salad with some acorn squash and dried cranberries and then also a harvest quinoa bowl. As always, you can find those recipes linked in the description box down below. I'm going to start with just like what's right here and that is some Capri Suns. I have two kiddos, boys 10 and 6, and just having some drinks on hand. We try to keep their soda intake limited. We do let them have one like once a week, twice a week, but these aren't like too bad comparatively. I also have a few items that we plan to donate. One of the organizations we're involved with is doing a food drive ahead of the holidays. And one thing they mentioned is that hygiene products are in high demand because you can't buy those with an EBT card. So we have some just shampoo, some lever soap. I also got some canned peaches, more canned peaches, canned pears. And then we have some canned chicken and some canned tuna, and that will all go in the donation bag. Some of the items for those like kale salads and harvest quinoa bowl, I don't remember which ingredients go with that what, but we have some honey crisp apples, a giant thing of pecans, and I felt so bad for the Kroger Clickless people because I ordered like a $2 bag and they must've been out. So now I have a giant bag of pecan pieces and this was two dollars and it should have been like $8.99 and then we have dried cranberries one thing to keep in mind is to make sure that you're buying the reduced sugar on like your dried fruits because they can be really high in sugar and high in points I did not mention this at the top of the video but I was inspired by like a Pinterest thing to do some English muffin pizzas or individual pizzas so I have some light English muffins. These are three points on the green plan. And then these individual pizza crusts that my kiddos could have. And then some simple truth organic pizza sauce. So everybody can kind of like make their own pizza. And also for that pizza, I picked up some olives. I love olives. Like I love olives. I love pickles. I love pickled jalapeno rings. I just love salty food. I love sweet food too, but I guess I just love all food. So I have those. I also have some pesto sauce. I wanted to try that for breakfast. I love hot chocolate, you know that. So I have the no sugar added hot chocolate. This is 50 calories for one pouch in two points on the WW Green Plan. This is the fat free, which is 25 calories in one point. And I couldn't remember which one I liked. I kind of like them both and I kind of jazz them up when I'm drinking them at night. So I was just like, whatever, I'll get one of each. doesn't really matter. Oh, that's one more can of tuna to go in the donation pile. I was out of nonstick canola oil spray. I was out of sriracha. I also really love spicy food. And I think as the weather has gotten cooler, I've been like, I want more spice. So sriracha, 
some chicken broth. So the recipe for the chicken broccoli rice casserole calls for making your own cream of chicken soup. And so that is for that. We've got some bananas, that's a staple. Another staple we just need to replenish was the ketchup and this is no sugar or 50% less sugar. Sometimes the no sugar ketchup is a little wonky and since Mark has to eat it too, I try to like find the in between. This was something new I wanted to try and these are the veggie chips made with cheddar cheese flavor made with potatoes, tomatoes, carrots, and beets. These are 150 calories. I'll put the points on the screen, but kind of like Pringles, but maybe healthier. I don't know. Because it's getting to be that time of year, I picked up the chocolate peppermint stick Luna bar, 200 calories, eight grams of protein, points will be on the screen. Just felt like having a little different snack option. Put it on top of Mark's frozen meals that he takes for lunch. This week I picked up the Dunkin' iced coffee for Mark. Now this is pre-sweetened a little bit. And so this is 60 calories. We have just 1% milk for the boys. We have egg substitute, I use this for everything, egg sandwiches, pancakes, French toast, which I've been super into, and then just baking. I've been out of whipped cream and I haven't found the fat-free ready whip in ages, but so this is just the original. And I'm wondering if it's supply chain issues. So I work in marketing for a manufacturer and so I'm well-versed in like the supply chain woes and the last time I was at Kroger, I overheard a conversation in parking lot because this woman could not find her cream soda. And I guess there just hasn't been enough cans. And so they've been prioritizing canning root beer instead of cream soda. And so she couldn't get her cream soda. And when you really like something, you know, I get it's upsetting, but I have a feeling we're just going to have to make do with some things like, like in the next few months. All right, I have, oh, look at these fresh veggies. I'm so healthy. So I think it's Lauren on Louise Lane mentioned that she does a veggie tray every week or sometimes. And I thought, huh, it's a little overpriced. You're praying for convenience, but maybe I'll actually eat some veggies. So I've just been totally slacking on the raw vegetables and honestly was so burnt out on baby carrots. So hopefully this will be a good way to like zhuzh up my afternoons. We have just some cheese for the pizzas and then the boar's head turkey pepperoni. 16 slices is 70 calories, three and a half grams of fat. And I figured this would be a good way to keep the points down. We also have some halved Brussels sprouts that I just want to roast or if I ever invest in an air fryer, um, maybe I'll get that. Maybe one day I'll be like super famous and get an air fryer for free, JK. Deli turkey, we just snack on that all the time. We have onions for some recipes, eggs for Mark for breakfast. I thought I would try these Skinny Cow Vanilla and Chocolate Dynamic Duo. Do you know what the Dynamic Duo is? One of these and coffee. That is the real Dynamic Duo. My friend got me this mug from Turks and Caicos. That was so nice of her. More Ready Whip, never too much. Whipped cream, cookies and cream, ice cream, Mark's request. And then I, par I purchased, I ordered and got these pomegranate, or I, pomegranates, I don't know how to say it. I'm not gonna embarrass myself. So this is for either the salad or the harvest bowl, I don't know. And I considered buying a whole pomegranate. And I once, when I wanted to be a blogger, did this like whole pomegranate party. And I just cannot like ever cut a whole pomegranate ever again. It was traumatic, traumatic. Mark made a stop at Sam's Club and he purchased this four pound package, no, five pound package of 90% lean ground beef. I don't know what he wants me to do with this ground beef 
to be honest. I don't know what he's trying to tell me, but I have it. So I will split this into like four sections and just freeze it in Ziploc bags until I decide what I am going to cook or not cook for him. All right, just the last few odds and ends, breakfast sandwiches for the kids. I've shared that they like to split one for breakfast or if I don't feel like cooking for Mark, he will eat one. We finally found um, some Gatorade. So Gatorade for the kiddos as well. Orange juice, boom. And then one last thing, chocolate milk, because I am trying to be mother of the year. That is it for this week's grocery haul. If you have found something super cool that I need to check out, be sure to let me know in the description box down below and share any recipes that you're digging and I need to try out next. Thank you so much for watching and be sure if you like this video to give me a big thumbs up and do all that jazz. And until next time, do something you love. It's my fault. I'll give you my heart. You can crush it, move it. Mark has that like right in my face. The guitar. So thank you so much for walking.